you. Happening right now in Schoharie County, a search is underway for a missing 28-year-old man. Right now, information is limited, but Schoharie County Sheriff's deputies tell us a call came in around 8 o'clock to report a family member who never returned from a walk in the town of Summit. Officers say they're now deploying four-wheelers and other equipment to search the area. We'll continue to follow this story and, of course, update you as soon as more information becomes available. New tonight, firefighters just got back from battling heavy smoke and flames for a good portion of the night in the town of Brunswick. About a dozen fire departments were called to the area of 225 Oakwood Avenue around 6 o'clock for a fully involved fire. Firefighters say the homeowners called to report they could smell something burning. Investigators believe the fast-moving fire started in the chimney. Firefighters tell us they fought the fire for nearly four hours and that the cold temperatures complicated the fight with icy conditions and frozen hose valves. No one was hurt, but the home is a total loss. Flames also broke out at a National Grid substation in Brunswick this afternoon. The electric company tells us an insulator caught on fire. Firefighters say they responded while National Grid turned off the power and let the fire burn out. No one in the immediate area lost power, but electric officials say many customers in the southern Saratoga County were without power for a short time. The electricity in that area has since been restored. A Rensselaer County woman is dead after police say she was struck by a pickup truck in DeFriestville. North Greenbush police say they were called to the intersection of routes 4 and 43 around 10 o'clock last night for a car pedestrian accident. Police say the driver of the Chevy pickup was driving west on Route 43. Officers say 20-year-old Jessica Carter of Rensselaer was hit by the truck as she crossed the intersection heading south on Route 4. Carter was taken to Albany Medical Center where she later died. Police say the investigation is ongoing and anyone who may have seen the accident is asked to give them a call. A Washington County man is facing felony DWI charges after police say he crashed his car on the North Way. Late Friday night, Warren County Sheriff's deputies responded to a one-car crash near exit 18 in the town of Queensbury. After an investigation, officers say the driver, 53-year-old Charles Kelsey of Fort Edward, was noticeably drunk. Sheriff's deputies say Kelsey refused to take a breathalyzer test. Officers say Kelsey has a prior DWI arrest from within the last 10 years, elevating the charge to a felony.